I might need to move to Atlantis. Unpopular Opinions Episode 1 While the Premier League is not the best league in the world, for cheap good quality football jerseys go over to www.jerseyfever.com a link will be left in the description and use code AlantisFootball to get 5% off. So this video is going to be a short form podcast which I do plan to do more of so I can put out more content. This is going to be a series I do on my unpopular opinions so if you disagree with my opinion in this video make sure you give the video a like and put why I'm wrong in the comment section below and remember to subscribe to the channel as well. So this this video is going to be about why I think the Premier League is not the best or the most entertaining league in the world. Okay, so I am going to contradict this statement, well only slightly, but by this statement I mean that for years the football community, or should I say the English football community, has held this opinion that the Premier League is by far and away the best league in the world in terms of quality of football, players, teams, and is also the most entertaining. You used to constantly hear people saying things like La Liga is just a two-team league, which really annoyed me because people were still saying this after Atletico Madrid won the league in 2013-14, so who exactly are these two teams? People also like to say that Syria and the Bundesliga are boring and poor quality because Bayern Munich and Juventus, up until this season, win the league every year which is just stupid because Bayern Munich and Juventus up until Allegri left were constantly in the three or four best teams in the whole of Europe. Bayern Munich would routinely battle the likes of Arsenal and other English clubs. Under Guardiola, Bayern Munich were recording double figures in goals against Arsenal over two legs. Yet for some reason, people thought that if Bayern Munich always won the Bundesliga, that must mean that the rest of the league is terrible. But Bayern Munich have humiliated Arsenal, Chelsea and Tottenham in recent seasons in the Champions League and those teams were amongst the four or five best teams in the Premier League at the time. So if anything, this just shows how poor the Premier League is in comparison to Europe's elite. The Premier League for a period between 2004 and 2009 definitely did have the best teams in the world with all four Champions League qualifiers from the Premier League routinely getting to the quarterfinals of the tournament and beyond. However, if there's anyone who thinks that the Premier League's top six is significantly better or even slightly better than other leagues' top six sides, then they must not watch European domestic leagues at all. Even this season, Manchester United are the second best side in the Premier League behind Manchester City and couldn't even get out of the Champions League group with RB Leipzig going further in the tournament. And even last season, Leipzig got to the semi-finals, a place where United haven't been since 2011. If we were to put the Premier League's top six in a league with the top six from La Liga, the Bundesliga and Syria, then I think Manchester City would be finishing in the top six of that 2014 league, but I don't think you could really make a claim for anyone else getting in there, apart from maybe two calls Chelsea, and even then we haven't seen them over a sustained period of time. What used to make me laugh was when people would point out in the early and mid-2010s how Real Madrid, Barcelona and Bayern Munich would batter some teams in their league by six or seven goals. But these were three of the best football teams in the modern era. These sides would do that to Arsenal nearly every season and they were one of the Premier League's top four sides so imagine what prime Pep Guardiola's Barcelona or Mourinho's Madrid are going to do to Crystal Palace or Newcastle. Apart from Manchester City and Liverpool, for the last four seasons the Premier League has been absolute dross. Just look at the fact that West Ham are in contention for a top four spot this season. That tells you how far the quality has fallen from the days of the top four sides Manchester United, Chelsea, Arsenal and Liverpool. Even look at the teams who have managed to survive most seasons in the Premier League, Newcastle, Crystal Palace, Burnley, etc. These sides would be struggling for survival in the other top five European leagues, so it's not like the Premier League is of much better quality. So I think I've done a pretty good job of debunking the myth that the Premier League is of much higher quality than the others. So now I'm going to talk about the common opinion that the Premier League is more entertaining than the other European leagues. But this once again is a myth to me. You can argue that you prefer the Premier League, but I don't think you can objectively say that it's more entertaining or more competitive categorically. Over the past five seasons since Leicester won the league in 2016, the league has become pretty drab. We rarely see an exciting title race anymore, as in four of the last five seasons, one team has run away with the league and been all but champions by March time. People like to say that Bayern Munich or Juventus up until this season win the league every year so the whole German or Italian league is uncompetitive and boring, but they don't make the same argument for the Premier League. Just look at this season, the only thing to really play for is the Champions League spots and by mid to end of April that will probably be wrapped up. There's a good 8-10 to 10 sides in the league that aren't even worth watching because of their seasons, individual games and tactics being so predictable and unexciting, with the likes of Newcastle, Crystal Palace, Burnley and Wolves come into mind. The only reason that people think the Premier League is more entertaining is because they are from England and the team they support is in the Premier League. If you ask a football fan from Spain, they'd probably say La Liga was the best league and they find it the most entertaining. The quality of the football in the Premier League is not superior to the European leagues, nor is the quality of the actual teams and it's not even a more competitive league anymore. 
with the title races and literally all of the other four top five leagues being a lot closer than the Premier Leagues. But for Liverpool's frankly unbelievable last two seasons, Manchester City would have won four league titles in a row without much competition. The Premier League was the most competitive and entertaining league between the start of the 2000s up until 2016 in my opinion. But post 2016, the quality of Manchester City and Liverpool and the terrible transfer strategies and management of teams like Manchester United and Arsenal has seen the league become what many people said La Liga was 10 or 15 years ago. The only reason people still believe that the Premier League is by far and away the best league in the world is because of their own English arrogance and because they don't watch foreign football and don't know anything about these foreign teams or players and they prefer to discredit the European leagues by saying they aren't of good quality to make themselves feel better about their own ignorance when judging individual players or teams. Right now the season may as well be over because the Premier League seems to have been drained of the entertainment and competitiveness that seem to be back around Christmas time. So thank you for watching, if you disagreed with my opinion in this video, make sure you give the video a like and put why I'm wrong in the comment section below. Check out some of my other videos linked in the description and subscribe to the channel and also give me your opinion on this format and style of video.